Hey guys, it's Simply Sarah Beth. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today we are back with another speed build. This time we are working on a farmhouse. Uh, this is actually the first video that I ever recorded while I was building, which is why I didn't start until I had already built some of it. I didn't know what kind of floor plan to do, so I went on a blueprint website and found a house that I really liked and I just started building it. So I started building the rooms according to the plan, um, and now I'm just going back through them, making sure that they're a good size, making sure that it'll actually translate to The Sims, because a lot of times something that works in real life doesn't exactly work on The Sims. I ended up not exactly sticking with the same plan. Those two rooms at that end of the house are supposed to be bedrooms, um, but they're so small, you can't fit hardly anything in there. So I was trying to make it a little bit bigger. Um, I was also trying to build a garage. I've never built a garage before, but I really wanted to. There's so much stuff that are cute garage cluttery things so I wanted to do that and I had to make the house big enough to actually fit that kind of stuff into the house and lately over the past month I've been building a lot of smaller houses so building this much larger house was kind of a challenge for me. So here I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put the rooms. Uh, I have to figure out where I'm going to be putting the master bedroom and then a second bedroom. At least. I originally wanted three bedrooms, but I ended up with just two. And then an upstairs kind of entertainment room. I wanted to have a formal living room and then like a TV room. That's kind of what I like to do in my houses. I personally don't really like to have the TV in the living room. That's just my personal preference. And originally uh, when I started building this house and I was looking through the pictures of farmhouses and trying to pick what I liked and what I didn't like, um, I was drawn to this type of house, this kind of like ranch style um, layout. And I showed my mom because I'm kind of building this house with her in mind. Um, and she's super into like the farmhouse, the, uh, she calls it shabby chic stuff, I don't know. That's her thing. And so I kind of built this whole thing with her in mind. And I showed it to her, and she said that the house looks exactly like our old house. And I didn't realize that until she said it. And I think that's exactly why I liked that floor plan, because it is literally exactly the same as our old house. On the outside, at least. It, not on the inside. On the inside, a few things are kind of the same, but our, our house was a little different. Um, but the outside, like the front of the house, looks almost exactly the same. With the roofs, the windows, the porch, everything looks the same. So that's why I liked it, I guess, because it was familiar. And it's kind of the same. Um, the kitchen and dining room and living room are all kind of going to be the, in the same area. Um, and then upstairs was my bedroom and my sister's bedroom, um, where in this build, upstairs is the entertainment room. So there's some things that are different, but it's, it's very similar. And here uh, I was trying to figure out what to do with that space, because that's supposed to be the master bedroom, but it's so tiny. And I wanted a good closet. Uh, a walk-in closet and bathroom, master bathroom with a bedroom 
but that space was just so small I didn't know what to do with it. So I kind of gave up on figuring that out for a minute and tried to figure out what kind of windows I wanted. Um, so I was trying to pick out farmhouse stuff without using the whole cats and dogs pack because that's kind of uh, the exterior, but I just wanted it to be something a little bit different. I feel like every time I make something a little bit rustic, I just always use so much of the Cats and Dogs pack. I guess that's just kind of what it's for, but I'm trying to switch it up a little bit. I think I originally wanted to make the outside of the house white and then have blue like doors and windows and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I'm building this house with my mom in mind, uh, and I'm kind of trying to build exactly what I think my mom would like, and her favorite color is baby blue, so everything she owns is blue. Like I said, this looks a lot like my house growing up, and literally everything in our house was blue. <laughs> So I'm just moving on to the roof. Um, that is where the little upstairs entertainment room is going to be. On the house I used to live in, that would have been mine and my sister's bedrooms uh, at two opposite ends of the house. And then I'm just trying to do this like ranch style front porch um, and then I added dormers which I absolutely love the look of the dormers and I love the look of that uh, patio cover too. I'm just I just love this uh, roof. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things about this house is just that how that porch and that roof and stuff go together. This roof kind of gives me flashbacks to back when we were we actually painted our house. Uh, it used to be, I don't even remember what color it was originally, like a beige I think, and we painted it dark gray and I remember we had to get on top of the roof and paint our dormers which looked exactly like the dormers on this house and it is steep up on a roof. If you've ever been on a roof, you know what I'm talking about. And it's slippery. And in the middle of July, it's so hot. And here I am painting the house baby blue. Uh, I decided to kind of do... just really go for the blue theme. Um, I feel like I'd make a lot of my houses white or gray, and so I decided to kind of do something different and make it blue. Which I think really helps with the farmhouse look. I don't know if it's just because I associate that with my mom, but I just feel like it goes with it. I had such a hard time picking windows that went with everything, um, but I ended up using I'm windows from the Strangerville pack, and I'm pretty sure that door is from the Strangerville pack too. What do you think of the colors of these windows? I was comparing the white and then the all blue and then it's like white with a navy blue on the inside and I went with the navy blue one, but what do you guys think? Do you think it matches well? 
I feel like that dark blue is a good contrast and kind of helps match the roof. Because the roof is so dark and then everything else is so light. I feel like the white windows would have been too white and we needed that dark navy blue to kind of break it up. I didn't know what to do with those columns. I'm pretty sure I switched them out after that. I don't... Yeah, I switched them out a few times before I finally picked what I was going to do. I think I went for, yeah, all white. Kind of like a antique kind of look. So I'm just finishing up the exterior of the house with some stairs and we gotta get some floor paint down in there. And we can't forget about those windows. Can't have a big ol' empty house. That is one of my biggest pet peeves about sim houses is the windows. The windows have to... <laughs> be even and all around. I always try to do the windows before I do the interior and the windows kind of determine where I put my stuff inside. Which is how it should be in the real world too. But there's nothing worse than having an amazingly decorated inside and then the windows on the outside look so awkward. Whenever I place my chimney and things that I put on the roof of my house on there, I always make sure that it lines up with the things that are in my house. So I made sure that chimney lined up with where I was going to put the fireplace. And then I put like that little vent above where my stove was going. And then I always turn my lighting down to night when I place my exterior lights just to make sure that everything is all lit up. My sims have to be able to see where they're going. I was gonna try to decide how I was going to do my little landscaping and my walkway and stuff, but I decided to just save that for later. It was a little overwhelming at that time. So we head back into the house to figure out uh, how we're going to fix this floor plan. Here I'm trying to section this end of the house off for the master bedroom instead of the other side. Uh, so I'm going to make this the master bedroom, master bathroom, and then a laundry room. And then we're just making that a double bedroom for the kids and um, a bathroom on the other side. And then that wall paint I believe came from the bowling pack. I love it so much. Um, you'll see it a little bit better, but I used it for the accent wall in the bedroom and the accent wall in the living room Mostly because like I said, this is influenced by my mom very heavily influenced and uh, she built shiplap on her wall in her bedroom um, I, th I Think it was Joanna Gaines or something um, I'm pretty sure she got the idea from Joanna Gaines like Shiplap, right? I haven't watched HGTV in a while because I haven't had TV in a while. So, I haven't lived with my mom in two years. So, but I'm pretty sure it's Joanna Gaines. So yeah, I, I put the Shiplap in there. <laughs> Here I was trying to put the light above the stairs, but it doesn't work. <laughs> I just really like that hanging light is from the laundry day pack because it's it's just a nice utility light so I put it in 
uh, the garage and then I put it in the bathroom because I thought that was the laundry room, but later I move it so that that light will be in the garage in the laundry room. And then of course I have to use those mason jar lights because my mom loves mason jars. She has her whole house decorated with blue mason jars. I just thought it was so funny when I saw that that pack had those because I'm pretty sure I don't think she has mason jar lights, but I'm, I seem to remember her looking at them or something. But she has so many blue mason jars. And then putting a fireplace in there. Uh, for At first I thought that that fireplace was too small, but then I compared it to the bigger fireplace and that was just way too big for that area. And of course, I always love doing dark floors with light walls. I knew I wanted the gray wainscoting on the wall in this house, but I just, I kind of went back and forth between a couple of them, trying to decide which one I liked the best. And I actually ended up sending a picture to my mom. I was like, okay, you're the expert. Which one do you like best? And she picked that one that we ended up with. So that is it for building this house. Uh, I will have another video coming out where I decorate this house and I put so much into the decorations. Uh, I'm super excited about showing it to you guys, so stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.